today's video is going to be my autumn winter essentials um, from clothing items to skincare to makeup kind of items and then just a little random thing that I've popped in. These are all the things that I just really really need to have in the autumn and winter time and I will have to say even though my birthday's in autumn and all that sort of stuff, autumn and winter have got to be like the worst seasons in my opinion. I love spring, I love summer. I love it when it's sunny and when it's hot and stuff like that. So I really, really hate winter when it's like cloudy and raining and all that sort of stuff like it is today. But um, I thought that I'd show you guys all of the essential things that I must have with me in the winter time and autumn to get me through the colder seasons and just things that I think are unessential. So I'll get started firstly with the skincare slash kind of makeup-y items. So the first thing that's really, really important for me is hand cream. Um, this is just one from Soul Lace Mineral Spa. It's a lemongrass and ginger one. Um, but just any kind of hand cream that's really, really thick and moisturizing because I do get dry skin in the winter time. I know it might, may not seem like it's really wintry since I'm wearing like a tank top, but I am wearing a scarf. That counts. It's not really that cold today, but yeah, a hand cream, just going completely off topic, a hand cream is really, really important for me in um, autumn and winter because my hands do get really dry and so does the rest of my body. So I like to lather up with hand cream in the morning and night and even just throughout the daytime so that's that one I do need to get like a hand cream for my um bag like the one from Vaseline or like the little um the little hand cream bottle thing so I'll need to put that on my shopping list but um yeah so hand cream is really really important for um the colder months just to keep your hands hydrated and feeling smooth and not cracked or anything like that because it doesn't look good so that's that um next off is body butter slash lotion. Now body butter for me is a little bit more winter appropriate because it's thicker and it has like a more thicker moisturizing consistency. This one, which I'm not going to show you the lid because the lid actually has stains all over it and it's really, really embarrassing. I'll just quickly show you. Um, but it's the Nip and Fab um, Dry Skin Body Fix Pistachio Sunday Body Butter, which I purchased from ASOS. This smells absolutely amazing, but it's a really, really thick um, consistency. It is super, super moisturizing on your skin and I think it's absolutely perfect for the winter months when your skin is that like extra um, bit drier than what it normally would be um, if you do suffer from dry skin but body butters are really, really great. I do recommend this one. Um, the scent might not be for everyone. It's a really, really street, street sweet scent. Um, but it's really, really thick in consistency and it really, really moisturizes. So I do recommend this one or any type of body butter, one from the body shop or body lotion that contains um, like maybe oils in it or cocoa butter or something like that. Really, really great. So next off is lip products. And also another thing that I recommend um, for the autumn winter months is exfoliation. So whether you use like a body scrub or an exfoliating glove, I use exfoliating gloves mostly. I just put um, shower gel on and then like exfoliate my skin. With that and then putting like a body butter or a body lotion over the top, like your skin is just going to be so moisturized and so hydrated. I do also recommend um, exfoliation of your body as well. And that's an essential for me. So next up is lip products. Um, the first one is a lip scrub. Now my lips do get dry, but they get mostly dry in the winter time because of like the um, cold weather and the wind and stuff like that. And no lip treatment slash balm slash whatever has ever made my lips completely like non-cracked or non-dry. The only thing that's ever worked for me is using a scrub beforehand and this is the Body Shop, the Body Shop Lush, <laughs> getting all these brands wrong today, the Lush um, Lip Scrub in Bubblegum and these are just really really amazing. Um, you can also use like a toothbrush and stuff but I really just like using lip scrubs. It smells really really good um, and I just apply this at night time and just to scrub off all the dead um, skin cells and it just makes my lips like non-dry and really really smooth. I do actually do this like most nights. I don't know if that's bad or not but but I'm absolutely amazing. It just gets rid of all of the dead skin cells and dryness and flakiness off my lips and makes them really really soft to prep for um, lip products. So the um, lip products that I really like using in the winter time are either treatments for your lips like the Palmer's um, Cocoa Butter um, lip treatments or just regular lip butters because these like normal like body butters are a bit thicker in consistency than just like chapsticks and stuff. I'm not really a huge fan of using those um, unless I'm like using it throughout the day when I'm out or something. This is the Body Shop um, 
dragon fruit lip butter. I, I mentioned this in my March favourites. It smells really, really amazing. It's a really, really thick consistency and um, it just makes your lips really, really soft and smooth. So I apply this um, at night time um, after I've exfoliated my lips and it just makes my lips really, really smooth and, you know, there's no dryness or flakiness there. So I love those two products. They're essential for me in the colder months and they're definitely going to be, this one's definitely going to be an essential for me in winter. And then the other one that I want to talk about is the Trilogy Rosehip Oil. Um, this is a... Um, oil for scars, stretch marks, wrinkles. You can also use it for uneven skin tone, which I have, and more specifically for the wintertime dryness. Um, I do get a little bit more um, dry skin in the wintertime than I do in like summer or anything like that. My skin generally isn't dry, but in the wintertime it does get kind of dry sometimes. So I like to use um, oil, and I mix this in with my morning moisturizer, and then I just use it at night by itself. And I just, um, because it has an eyedropper application, as you can see, just squirt like one dot here, 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 and here, and then rub it in and massage it down on my neck, and it just really hydrates your skin, makes your skin look really glowy and dewy and healthy. Um, so I absolutely love this, and I think that oils are really, really great in the winter time. Um, even if you don't really suffer from dry skin, they just give your skin that extra hydration that it kind of needs when it's so cold and, and horrible outside. So um, Trilogy Rosehip Oil or any kind of oil, I guess, um, is really, really good stuff. I'll get on to clothing items. So the first thing that is an essential for me are socks. And these ones are like the woolly um, socks. I absolutely love these, whether I'm just like um, around the house or at night time or whatever. These are just really, really great for putting on. They keep your feet really warm. And I've heard like... If your feet are cold, then the rest of your body's cold. And then if your feet are warm, the rest of your body's warm. I actually feel like that is kind of true. I always feel like when my feet are warm, like I'm way warmer in general. So woolly um, socks are really, really important. And I really like these ones because they have stripes. And they have some really like nice, cute designs on them. So, yeah, those ones. I think those ones are from um, Big W or something like that. And then next off the clothing items, I only have two clothing items which are as essential for me in the winter time. Obviously things like jeans and stuff are because I'm not going to be wearing shorts or anything like that. And I'm not too into the whole look of wearing like tights or stockings or anything underneath skirts or dresses. I'm just really, really plain and simple in winter, which I don't really like because I don't like covering up. Um, that's why I like summer so much. First thing is jackets. This one is from... Alley, I believe, and um, it's basically just a brown leather jacket with leopard um, interior, interior leopard print on the inside. I'm talking like it's a car. Um, I absolutely love this jacket. I always get compliments about it. It's not the warmest jacket, but I think these sorts of things are good in the winter time just to kind of layer on over maybe like a long sleeve top or a top with like a scarf and a pair of jeans and boots. Like it's just an essential for me to have a jacket, and I practically live in this in the winter time. I'm not always out like in the elements where it's really cold. Sometimes I'm just out like at the mall or I'm, you know, somewhere where I don't really need to be rugged up in lots and lots of clothing. Um, so these um, kinds of jackets are really, really good. This one actually like, it's not too cold, but it's like silk and that sort of like material inside. So it's not really super warm, but I really, really like these kinds of jackets. And if you are in a place where it doesn't get like that cold or you tend to kind of be in warmth most of the time, those jackets are really good. And then for a more warm option, I love um, these sorts of like trench coat jackets. Um, this one I actually got from Supre, believe it or not, for $5. It was on sale, but it just comes with like the little things that you wrap around. I love wearing these with just like any kind of top underneath with a pair of jeans, boots, a scarf or something like that. It just looks really wintry, which I like. Um, and it is quite warm. So that is like a trench coat jacket. Really, really like the um, style of these kinds of jackets and I just think they look gorgeous. So that's that. And then next thing that I want to talk about is boots. Now I only have two pairs of boots at the moment because some of my other ones broke. The flat ones that I have, like the heel has worn off because I've worn them so much and then these ones are heels. So I'm definitely going to be um, purchasing some more boots for this winter and autumn. But boots are really, really great. I'm talking more about these kinds of ones, uh, not like the um, like heeled boots or like the short ankle boots. I don't really like those, but I really, really like these types of boots. I don't know where I got these from. I think these were for Big W or something like that um, or Target or something, but they just have the heel on them and I just wear these so much. I love the ones with the buckles. 
just with jeans and like those jackets or a cardigan or something like that. It just looks really, really nice and I love them. They keep your feet really warm and they just look really, really good in the winter time. So these boots are definitely a must have for me and any kinds of boots like that. And then one thing um, that I'm wearing is scarves. I love scarves and I love wearing them even in like the summertime just with like a tank top like this because they're not like really that um, warm some of the scarves I have. These ones are though, this is a snood, which if you don't know what a snood is, it's a scarf that's kind of um, designed in a circle and you just wrap it around. Um, really, really easy to put on, which is what I love about them and they're so warm. This one I think I got from Target, it's just a neutral colour and it just makes you warm and I think it looks really, really nice over the top of jackets or the trench coat or something like that. I love snoods and I do want to purchase a few more because um, I want to get maybe like one in a black or a white or something, but I love them and they're so easy to put on. And then the last thing, which is a food slash drink item that I want to talk about is tea. Um, this is just the Lipton black tea. I get it in the um, 100 tea bag um, ones, but I absolutely love tea for the winter time and for autumn. Like I love tea all year round. I drink it morning and night, like one cup, but um, I absolutely love tea because it's so warm and there's nothing better than just like sitting down with a warm cup of tea when it's really, really cold and rainy outside. It just it immediately, immediately makes me happy. So I love tea and specifically just plain black tea um, is absolutely amazing. So that's basically it. I hope this gave you an idea. I know that there's probably a lot of people who subscribe to me from like America and the UK that are going into spring, but if you are in Australia or New Zealand or something like that and you're going into winter and autumn, these are all the things that are essentials for me. I'd love to know what some of the things that are essential for you in the autumn and winter months, even if you're not going into those seasons. So leave them down in the comments below and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.